Okay, it's John V3 IPS. I'm here at the park and I'm um, planning on doing a deployment here. I'm using a new radio that I've been playing around with. It's a uh, uh, JNC radio, the M104. It is a multi band radio, uh, multi band antenna. And uh, as you can see, it's a uh, it's got a short whip on it and at the bottom here you can see it's got its uh, loading coil and base unit here I've got the coil here for um, 20 meters and the base coil is uh, basically a PL259 connector and I've got it connected to a Comet RS520 here on the back of the Mini Cooper here and the nice thing about it is I got a uh, an angle mount on it here so I can adjust it for that antenna to be somewhat vertical. Probably not the best location, typically on cars we want to have the uh, the antenna on the center of the roof but uh, this one with its double sunroof is not going to happen. And I've got my power film solar panel on here, I'm uh, recharging up a lithium battery that was somewhat depleted. It's kind of an overcast day but as you can see the sun's kind of pushing out. We're getting some juice coming out of the panel so the battery's getting charged up. Let's go back and take a look here at the uh, the antenna. So yeah, look look at based on my hand, look how small this box is. So there's the antenna itself. Um, there's a seven meg coil, a 21 meg, 15 meter band. There's also one here for uh, for 10 meters. I used that the other day. Made a couple of contacts on 10. It's kind of nice. There's also a ring terminal for a counterpoise. So everything fits in this small little compact box. So it doesn't come with a counterpoise. Uh, a lot of people are using this for fixed portable operation like we're doing now, connecting that to, uh, to a mount. And uh, let's check the, uh, the SWR. So I'm using the iPortable uh, antenna analyzer. I've had this for a long time. I think when I bought my first buddy pole antenna. So I have it set up now on uh, 14029, the SWR is uh, 2.5, the SWR was better as I stretched the counterpoise out. You can see now when I start stretching the, the counterpoise out, um, well, or sorry, the coax out, which is also acting as a counterpoise, the, S the SWR is dropping, so here it's at 1.9. So what, what can we do to improve on it? Uh, 14147, the SWR is 2.7. So the reason being behind this is because the short compromise antennas that we use are very capacitive and require a very, very strong ground. Uh, there's reference to this in the, uh, the documentation uh, from Chuligans uh, that sells the JNC radio antenna and develops these antennas um, you really need a really really good ground in the car and normally what I would have is a ground strap from the back panel to the other panel to complete the whole ground assembly I've also been able to provide uh, better resonance by adding uh, radials uh, to the ground mount laying them on the floor of the vehicle or using a capacitant plate diamond makes one and uh, that adds additional capacitance that helps lower the, uh, helps improve the resonance of the antenna. So there you go, that's the antenna set up right there and uh, let's go plug it into the radio, see what happens.